Good morning guys, I am waking up in Kyriot Hotel and I've learned that I was just re I was just reading this and it says like Kyriot Hotel origins to Franz Luber Hotel Group is the second largest hotel group in Europe. It's really big this hotel that I am in right now. We are located in Longan at the moment, but as far as I know or as they told me, they have like a chain of them in Shenzhen, all over Shenzhen. So yeah, let's take a look at the lobby outside. Hello Shenzhen. Okay, so we have this beautiful, beautiful stair. Is there. there is a book bar here or a kind of business center. Uh, we have these boxes with power banks for you to use in case your battery runs off. And we have beautiful computers Mac computers actually this place is quite nice I also like the fact that they have like a laundry room because my clothes started to being more and more in need of a wash since I am not living in an apartment right now in Shenzhen just like in hotels so this is the view today this morning let's go and have some breakfast so guys I was told like breakfast is on the second floor, let's go and have some breakfast and yeah, it's a Chinese breakfast but at least we can have some chow. Actually, I really like to have chow in the morning because it's something warm and cozy and I feel like it's good for the stomach and it's a comforting food. Oh my god, that was a real climb. The view from the second floor, we have more boxes. These are quite popular in Shenzhen right now. You can find them almost everywhere and there. All kind of companies offering them. Wow, I really like that. Look at the chair design. The design in this hotel is quite impressive. That place over there, it looks like so nice to be recording some videos. What do you think? The view, yeah. Yeah, this little deco. Okay, so this is the breakfast room, and I'm gonna be sitting in one of these ones. You know, they have a view, or at least they are nice and cozy. But I do also love this over here. Wow, this is so nice, you know. So, what are we having for breakfast? Oh, she's having waffles. There are some waffles available here. Um, the juice is not fresh, freshly squeezed. We have some these vegetables, dressings, meat. Um, yeah, I would like some hamikwa. Where are the plates? Down there. Those are small. Let's go and get some big plates. Here are the hot dishes. Yeah, this is toujang, and I'm super happy that it's not sweetened. So we have the sugar here in order for us to, you know, put as much as we want. I especially like like natural soy milk, not sweetened one. Usually I don't drink soy milk, but you know, if there is a chance. We also have this sweet potato porridge, and this is like the white porridge, plain kangi, as it said there. So yeah. What are we having? First of all, let's take a bowl. Hmm. So cheers to the life. I'm having this. Hmm. <laughs> okay guys, ready to go. I had my China style breakfast. Oh no, let's go on. You know, wander around the city of Shenzhen. Okay, so 
this is a morning in the city of Shenzhen and we are heading to a shopping mall called Coco Park the Longan branch because there are many Coco Parks around the city I myself used to live near Coco Park the super popular Coco Park of Fujian area you know the good old days but still we have amazing days just in front of us so it could be you and, and I just found this panorama over here which is quite nice with some beautiful flowers over there and very very green this is my favorite part about the city of Shenzhen greenery it's all around and butterflies too yeah let's keep going wow can you see when I say greenery is all around, I really mean it. Like everywhere. Wow, they are taking their vegetables, I guess, for the lunch of today. It's quite hot, so during the summers, you will see some guys. Unfortunately, no girls will take their shirts out, but so many guys will do so. So just be prepared for that. Right? Okay guys, so we're gonna be boys touring around this area. This means that I'm gonna be explaining to you where I am and what is that we are looking at. This is basically a district of the city of Shenzhen called Longan. This district was very undiscovered for me. It was the first time I was staying there. Can you see this view? It's like, wow, amazing. I love the view of the metro inside the city and the skyscrapers like wow i'm amazed i also like these stairs that take you to a crosswalk but although they can be very tiring but you know they're quite safe for the pedestrians uh, these are the very big avenues where people is crossing all the time as you can see it was a summer time and they are having always umbrellas to protect themselves from the sun exposure contrary to us in the western world a lot of people do not take care of that what they do in china and that's the key of their skincare you know okay so one thing that i really love about shenzhen is that it's a green city and it is basically called the green city you can see that it's super green and here finally we arrive to the destination the shopping mall called coco park coco park is a big complex and is located in many different uh, areas around the city I used to live in an area called, okay, foreigners used to call it Coco Park, but it was Futian district in Shenzhen as well, which also had this Coco Park. Yeah. I really like the design of this restaurant because it's like, oh my god, there are some chickens hanging in there. Just take back what I said, guys, like for real, 
No. Everything from the outside was beautiful until I saw that. Oh no. Oh, these cracks are so nice. Wow. Mm. There's a lot of people in line waiting for seats, I guess. It's lunch time. Oh, there's a fish in there. And the kids wanna, you know, fish it, I guess. Oh, let's keep going. We are inside a shopping mall and I thought that this restaurant design was pretty particular, like special. I really wanted to record for you this decoration of the restaurant here because I thought that it was in house special. You know, very Chinese traditional. Although we are inside a shopping mall, but it does, you know, feel like somehow you are in somewhere in China. Today we are here in the Mid Autumn Festival festivities, and there are so many Chinese people out and enjoying the day off. As you can see, we can uh, fly in kites. I have a new friend here. Hello. <laughs> Where are you from? Zhongshan, Zhongshan city. And why do you come here today? Uh, to visit my sister. To because of the festival. Uh, yes. What do you do during the Chinese Mid Autumn Festival? Uh, usually we uh, admire the moon. Admire the moon? And eat moon cake. Do you like the moon cake? No. So why do everybody buy and give away moon cakes and nobody really likes them? Um, because it is cultural. But it's culture! Yeah. It's like... Uh, yeah, I think so. So your family buy many moon cakes to give away? Uh, five boxes. Five boxes and also receive many. Uh, yes, receive and a giveaway. So we got five here. <laughs> okay, okay, that's very interesting. So let's take a look at the view here. It's super beautiful. Wow! And yeah, this is a very nice sunset afternoon, mid autumn festival here, enjoying the weather in Shenzhen, China. And the wind? Ah, the wind? Yeah, it's not very hot. It's not so hot now, yeah. So, what is the name of this square? What? The name of this square? Uh, Longcheng Guangchang. It means the Dragon City. The Dragon City. Oh, that's why there is a dragon over yes. there. Wow, that's very interesting. Let's take a look. A closer look. It's like really big, you know? I didn't know that when it's I was... Big. yeah. There's a big, big square. Is this the center of like um, Longan? I think so. Yeah. The government is there. Oh, the the Longan government, yeah. Or the <laughs> must be. I think I saw in the map it says like Longan. Wow. It's nice feeling. Thank you very much for telling me about this place. Oh, it's okay. Uh, if you're not here, I won't forget. Oh, it's a small one. It's really nice. You can see it. It's really nice. 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 There is like a big, big square here, which I was unaware of, which is like the Longan city center, or not a city center, but like the center of Longan. 
I'm not sure whether you have been there, but it's very worth going to. It's like a big new area inside Shenzhen. There are so many new buildings and this is Vanke shopping mall area, which is huge. It has this amazing fountain. There are a lot of people over there. Most of them are Chinese. It's a very quite new area for foreigners because it's a little bit far away from downtown, which is, you know, the markets and stuff. But I heard that uh, some foreigners are, you know, becoming more and more aware of this place to live because it's not as expensive as living in the very um, common places in Shenzhen. Your English name? Borscht. Why? Uh, because I like that kind of soup. And uh, my Chinese family name, Tang, means soup also. But why do you guys, why do you have a... <laughs> it's okay for you to have a food name? Yes. Whatever I want. Okay guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for next one. I love you from Shenzhen with a lot of love, always Margarita.